Target clearly wasn't expecting it. Mobs flocked to its stores and the company had to restrict traffic to its website to avoid a crash. Customers were clamoring for their favorite Lily Pulitzer bathing suits, dresses and accessories. Instead, many walked away empty-handed and angry. Now fans know the label for its colorful and preppy resort gear and they're willing to pay a premium for it. Lily Pulitzer is an iconic brand and I think it was brilliant for them to go out this way because Essentially, they don't sell more than 10% of their sales west of the Mississippi. Target announced in January it would sell a cheaper Lily Pulitzer collection. And when the 250-piece line finally went on sale on Sunday, it caused a frenzy. Social media was littered with images of empty shelves, lines snaking around corners, and internet personalities chiming in, urging Target to quote-unquote, stop humiliating its customers. Now let's take you through how Sunday actually went down. The first Lily fanatics showed up at about 5 a.m. across the country, filling their carts to the brim. Within minutes of opening, inventory was gone. Those who went online didn't fare any better. The site quickly went down after going live at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Then customers who tried to check out found their virtual items sold out. Now, Target apologized for the website issues, but it didn't seem to make things any better. The retailer is known for using designer partnerships to build a buzz. That's what set them apart from other big box retailers. Now, limited edition merchandise sometimes sells out within hours, but it's usually pretty orderly. Except in 2011, when the retailer teamed up with Missoni, that was a similar mess. At the time, analysts and retail experts raised the same questions they're asking now. Is this a win for Target? Or is it a flop that turns customers away? Target has created an incredible buzz by offering product that people obviously loved and the demand far outstripped the supply. So I think Target did a good thing. Maybe they should have planned it a little more aggressively. But whenever something is so hot that it sells out, it's a good thing. Another factor that raised tensions with customers, items showed up on eBay for double the original cost. Now, we asked Target why it didn't impose purchase limits. The company says because it was a lifestyle collection, it didn't want to limit the number of goods any one customer could buy. Target has no plans to release any Lily swag soon. Christina Aleshi, CNN Money, New York.